Hello, this is Logan Murphy again, and for this video we're going to see how to use conditional statements and forms together. So, um, this is the goal right now. Uh, you are able to type in two numbers. Except for this calculator, you can choose what sign you use. And then when you press the equal sign, it'll be 7 minus 2 equals 5. But this value is not it's not saved yet, but we'll actually do that in the next video, saving that value, so that you can you don't have to uh, keep turning it back on the minus. Um, so let's get to it. We're going to alter the file that we were using for the previous video. Instead of this minus sign, though, we're going to use a select tag, which is how I get this combo box down here and you give that a name so pretty much anything you give a name any of these inputs you give a name the form is going to pick that up and it's going to send that to the server when you submit when you click the submit button and the name of this is going to be sign and selects have a bunch of options one of those options is going to be plus I'm just going to copy paste that I'm going to have a minus multiply divide and once the person submits, you want to get it, the sign from the post. So once again, it's sign here because it's sign here, and I just call this variable sign because I think it's a really good idea. All right, so now we get to the fun part, the conditions. So to do conditional statements, we have to use the word if. If you want something to happen sometimes, then you use if. Sometimes you want to subtract, sometimes you want to add, sometimes you want to multiply, sometimes you want to divide. Okay. I also want to add this empty option here. Okay. And that's just so that we can do a little bit more coding. So we want to see if we want to add. Does the person did the person choose the add sign and click on submit? To do that, we see if the sign that we got from the user is the plus sign. If it is the plus sign, then we'll make this variable called answer and set it equal to left plus right. Okay. And down here, instead of echoing left plus right, you see that essentially answer is left plus right, so we can just replace this with answer. So this will work for the plus sign, but it won't work for any other sign. So if we uh, press, actually, yeah. do a refresh, see that we have this here. We press the plus sign and we get 7. Press the minus sign and there's nothing because we never told the answer what the answer is. We never told the answer. There's no point in this program where answer is defined because the sign was not plus. So we want to do something when it's minus also. So you want to tag onto this an else if. And you want to do else if the sign is the minus sign. Now else if only happens if the previous if failed. So pretty much if the sign was not plus, then it's more likely to be minus. However, if it was plus, then you won't do the else if at all. You'll just do this and skip over this else if completely. Okay, so you don't have to worry about this else if happening if it is plus. Only if it's minus. So, instead this should be a minus sign. And this only happens if previous fails. Okay, now if we click submit for minus, actually, Hit save first. 
change the minus. And it's 3 minus 4 is negative 1. We also want another one. So we do another else if. And this else if will only happen if this else if fails and this if fails. And this condition is true. And this will be multiplied. So pretty much if it's not plus, not minus, but is multiplied. Now we need these quotes around the star and all of these signs because if we don't have it, PHP is going to think that we're trying to multiply something, but we're not trying to multiply. We're trying to see if what a user told us. So usually when you're when you're thinking about talking to something, you use quotes. Like in a book, if a character starts talking, you use quotes. Well, when a user tells the computer something, you use quotes. So the user told me star. They sent it to the post. They posted it to this um, page as the sign and stored in this variable. And we're seeing if what the user told us, which is in quotes, is equal to... Well, actually, this is what the user told us, and we're seeing, is this what the user told us? If that's what the user told us, then the answer we're going to give them is left times right. And we do another else if, if the sign is equal to divide, then dollar answer equals left divide right. Finally, what happens if they choose nothing and they press equals? Well, there's nothing here. So we need to define this final case, else. Now, else only happens if this fails, and this fails, and this fails, and this fails. Pretty much if they didn't choose a sign. All if slash else if must fail. If they all fail, then the answer I will give you is please choose a sign. Okay, press equal, and it says please choose a sign. I know that I have to choose a sign now. 3 plus 4 is 7. 3 minus 4 is negative 1. 3 times 4 is 12. 3 divided by 4 is 3 quarters, 75 cents, 0 0.75. Okay? So this is using conditional statements. Next video we'll be looking at loops and arrays. I'm Logan Murphy and I will see you next time.